That should do it. Oh, good work. Boss should be pleased. Why the excavators? You guys doing construction? Nah, these are just for display. They're rarities. Old models that were used during the settlement. <sighs> Best days may be behind them, but for our company, they're sort of like old legends. Now, well, after we found them in such good condition, the boss made it his cause to show them off to the public. And so, here they stand. <laughs> sort of a monument, I guess. Honestly, it was real spur of the moment. Getting the display permit, hauling them out here. This is our busy season, you know. Sometimes the boss just gets a hair up. Excuse my language. I'm used to it, but some of the guys are kind of pissed. Wow, sounds like a tough gig. Diggers like these probably were instrumental to this beach, though. They may be old, but you can't deny they got character. Wear and tear makes them look distinguished, I say. Guess they don't run anymore, huh? Hmm. Both have had their battery removed. Their hauling days are over. <laughs> Actually, between you and me, they're still fueled up. Of course, nobody carries the batteries they use anymore. Right there's the old socket, in fact. Huh, look at that. They're both missing their covers? Afraid so. You'll never find one of them with every piece accounted for. We figured it was fine to set up the best we had. Funny to think that if they just had some juice, they'd run again. Oh well, no way that'll happen. <laughs> Wait, did I hear right? If they just got some electricity into the open socket, they'd be usable? Could be. The levers are rusted over, though, so there'd be no way to control them. It'd be one nasty event if that engine turned on. But the boss said not to worry about that stuff and just get the display up. Hey, uh, we should head off. Need to prep for the boss's visit, actually. Oh, right. Nice talking to you, pal. Something about that just feels dangerous, but it should be fine. marine life from all around the world. Papa might like to see that too, don't you think? Yay! Miracle Aquarium? I hope to see you there. Huh? A one-of-a-kind traveling aquarium. Only open for a limited time. All ages are welcome. Huh. Is there some kind of show in town? Wait. It's you! Yasuda-san from the circus! Huh? Oh, Kasuka-san, what a surprise! Pull me over. Kasuka-san, what, what a crazy coincidence. You're on vacation, are you? Yeah, <laughs> something like that. So you're running an aquarium here now? What happened to the animal show? Well, remember how you helped me out in Japan? I took some time to reflect on my business after that. <laughs> you taught me a valuable lesson about delegation. Let others do the work and simply reap the dividends. Now my staff handles the circus. Really, Kasuga-san, I'm grateful. You opened my eyes. <laughs> All right, good for you. Glad to hear the circus lives up. Oh, yes. In fact, it was during the last tour that I met an American with some show business contacts. Hawaii's a right spot for an aquarium, he told me. Tourists and exotics see things for days. Then he offered me a stake in it. I suppose there was no concealing my passion for animals. <laughs> oh, wow. What'd you do? I finished my drink, ordered quite a few more, then paid him every last yen I had to invest. Now, once this show starts to really take off, I'll tour the entire country with it. <laughs> well, try to take it one step at a time, yeah? 
Uh, don't let things get out of hand. That's good advice. However, Costasan, sometimes it's better to just stomp on the gas and go crazy, don't you think? Anyhow, I've got to go get everything set up. An aquarium needs its fish. Goodbye for now, Kasuga-san. Come see the show when we're open. Yeah, sure. Man, he's still headstrong. Oh, well, it's not like fish ever mauled anybody, right? Traveling aquarium, huh? Maybe I'll check it out if I have the time. Passed out. Damn, that was a good rest, though. The whole body feels refreshed, lighter. No, wait. I feel heavier. Up here, my head feels heavier. Deep. Chirp. What? What the hell's going on up there? in my hair. Now, oh, come on. Can you shoo? You're pretty heavy. Ah! Stop, ow, stop it! Stop pecking me! You're really not gonna fly off? Uh, what am I supposed to do? Huh? Oh, pretty. Are these feathers from someone you know? I guess you were living up there, huh? We could try finding your mom. Where would we even look? I'm out of my element here. What should we do? Oh, I'm hungry. Guess I could keep an eye out for Mama Bird while I eat. Deep, deep. Oh, sound good to you too? All right, let's get some food. Deep, deep. So, what should I call you anyway? What's a good bird name? Oh, maybe something American. Considering where you're from. You know, I once saw this anime set overseas. The main character's pet was named Joseph. I forget if it was a dog or a bird, but not bad, right? All right. Your new name is Joseph. Yeep. Whoa, like it, do you? Okay, Joseph, let's find some food. Yeep. Um, you're really not taking off, huh? Oh. Kinda of weird to walk around like this. I have to keep the strength up in my neck. I think they sell pet food at the ABC store. Let's see if I can get over there.
wonder where your mama might be. Gee. We'll find her. I'm sure of it. After we get some food, we'll keep looking, okay? What the hell? Sumo wrestlers? Why are they practicing outside? Can't get too close or Joseph and I'll get flattened. Let's just get by cautiously. Starting to give out. How can a bird weigh this much? Hey, buddy, you sure you're not up for flying? Yeah, yeah, sure. Birds fly, you know? That's like the number one thing they do. Ow! Okay, maybe besides pecking. Jeez, this. folks on the street right now. Need to be careful where I walk. I might fall if I bump into anyone. <laughs> Keeping my balance like this is way harder than it looks. Ugh, I can barely walk straight. Thanks. Hmm? 
Huh? No. Go. There. Not bad, huh? From now on, you can stay right here. So, Joseph, how do you like it? Do you like home? <laughs> nice, nice. Music to my ears. You can stay as long as you want, and nobody's gonna come after you here. And your mom can rest easy knowing how much you love this kind of spot. Uh, wait. Where'd Mama go? Ah. <laughs> uh... Great. Like mama, like bird, I guess. Let me out. Excuse me. Hey. Are you? 
Hey. Thank you so much. Are you? Excuse me. I get ya. Thank you. Ow. Excuse me. I get ya. Thank you. Excuse me. I get ya. Thank you. The dance instructor took you home last night? Hey. Yes, sir. Okay. Yep. Hmm? Hmm. No. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> Okay.
Thank you. Yes. Sup? Thank you so much. Hmm? No. Yeah. Sup? Pissing me off. It's only a little alcohol. I'm on vacation for Christ's sakes. Huh? <clears throat> the rules are the rules, my friend. No booze on the beach, no suds on the sand. And you're being a disturbance. Forget it. Screw this beach cop. Let's go.
Hey, hold it, man. Huh? Forgetting something? Excuse me, asshole? You looking for trouble? What? I saw you walking away without this, so I returned it. One good turn, yeah? Now, if that's all settled, you can be on your way. Next time, try showing a little respect, would you? <laughs> Yeesh. Hey, thanks for the backup. Guess I got a bit outnumbered. No problem. You run to guys like that a lot. Mm, more than I'd like. With all the tourists in this area, it's bound to happen. Folks who are used to getting everything their way back home have a hard time playing by the rules. My biggest concern is that they might end up harming the law-abiding beachgoers. That'd be bad. Well, no point in standing here worrying about it. Beach cop or not, I've got Seaside to safeguard. A lot of innocent people on the surf today. Need any help today, lifeguard? I'd never say no to my trusty companion. What should I do? Water bottle handouts again? Let me see. Today... Help! <gasps> Excuse me, have either of you seen my daughter? Your daughter? Is the poor girl lost? She is. I looked down at my phone for a moment or two and she just disappeared. Not to worry, ma'am. We'll find her. Could you give us a description of the little one? Um, her name is Emmy. She was wearing a red swimsuit and a straw hat with a blue ribbon. She's six. I can't think she'd have gone far. Red swimsuit, blue ribbon on a straw hat. Got it. Ma'am, please return to your original location. Your daughter might already have wandered back. Oh, all right. Thank you so much for helping me. Guess the water bottles can wait. In this case, little Emmy is likely alone and terrified. We need to move. I'll start out yonder. Okay, I'll uh, look over that way. Catch you later. Sup? Sup?
Sup? Leave it to me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Take it easy, champ.
you're gonna cry for me. Ready to rumble! Full power! Ah, ow! Yeah, we think we were too much for. Ocean uh, always reminds me of that time I got stuck by a jellyfish. I was scared of them for a long time after that. Are you okay with them now? Yeah. Thankfully, something helped me get over. Something? Well, did a jellyfish save you from drowning? Nah. Ice cream. Huh? Found this place that served jellyfish ice cream, and I got hooked on the stuff. You know, figured shit. These little guys ain't. Hey. Goodbye. Mm. Hmm? Funny to think that if they just had some juice, they'd run again. Oh well. No way that'll happen. <laughs> Wait, did I hear right? If they just got some electricity into the open socket, they'd be usable? Could be. The levers are rusted over, though, so there'd be no way to control them. It'd be one nasty event if that engine turned on. Whoa. What? Whoa! What's a sea cucumber doing here? Fish flew right into the open battery sockets!
Lamb John, don't you dare discharge! Hey! Damn it! You're supposed to be professionals! Kasuga-san, you've got to help! Please, stop those machines somehow, and don't let Lam John or Loon John get hurt! Oh, come on! Why is it always like this? Every time! Fine! 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 What's one more boss fight? I'm getting better at this. Guess I'm a fast learner. Uh, uh, I think that did it. Yasuda suck. How are the catfish? They're all right. A little punch drunk, but no worse for wear. That's that's good. Glad they're okay. Hey, come look over here! <laughs> come on! It's absolutely sick! Is this the electrifying show from the Flyers? That was astonishing! Huh? I wondered why they were putting those old excavators up. I had no idea it was for such a wild stunt. <laughs> hey! I want to see it again! Zap, zap, pow! It was so cool! Ladies and gentlemen, you've just witnessed our free exhibition ceremony. I thank you all for attending. The Miracle Aquarium itself will open to audiences in good time. Please make sure to return. Oh, let's go, let's go! It'll be a great story to tell back home. If it's as hyped as that preview, I'll see it twice. We'll be there. Here, boss, right this way. We set the excavators up nice and prominently, just like you asked. I'm sure you're gonna love this. Hmm. Ah, oh, a lot of people out here, isn't there? Only one reason that could be. <laughs> Guess our hard work really paid off. This will be a fitting monument to our prestigious company. <laughs> well, these old models are legends, after all. <laughs> it's only natural people would want to, uh, see. Uh, them. Oh. No! It can't be! No! What? But this can't be! The excavators! They're burning! You went above and beyond this time, Kasuga san. I owe you everything. This is hardly enough to repay you, but I hope you accept it. Even in Hawaii, Kasuga-san, you've managed to save my life and livelihood. I just might have. Please, be more careful from now on. You're right. 
Truthfully, I may be in just a bit over my head here in this foreign nation. The thing is, it's so important to me that the show stays affordable, even to folks from less affluent families. I thought that if I skimped on safety regulations and things like that, I could keep costs down, and even the poorest child could see something spectacular. That's kind of you. Listen, even back in Yokohama, I admired the passion you had for entertaining people. All else aside, that's admirable. <laughs> that means a lot to me. I believe that you can't excite an audience unless you're excited yourself as ringleader. I want to run shows that are truly unique. Beasts of the land, fish of the sea, whatever attraction I have is going to be one of a kind. That's never going to change. <laughs> all right, all right. Do your best out there. Just don't forget that safety's important too. Yes, sir. Now, let's go get you fitted for a top hat, koska -san. Okay, what? You're in too, aren't you? To run new animal shows with me? Wait, hold on. When did I agree to that? You saw how your electrified excavator brawl drew in the public? Hasuga-san, you're a born showman! Let's have you beat up every fish in the ocean! We're sitting on a gold mine here! Don't you get it? We'll be the greatest traveling act in history! Come on! The entertainment world waits for no one. This is how stars are made. Jeez, slow down a second. Show's over, man. I'm out. No, don't go yet. Gossip Assad! <laughs>